So once again, you are welcome to Angel Health Academy. This is the third part of the videos of Bloom's Taxonomy. The topic for the day is Taxonomy of Objectives that is Effective Domain. The overall aim of the education is personality development or behavioral modification of the student which includes cognitive domain, affective domain and psychomotor domain. I have already uploaded a video of cognitive domain. You can watch that video first then you can follow the this video that is effective domain. The effective domain is introduced by Krathwold, Bloom and Maria in 1964. Let us discuss in detail about effective domain. According to Reilly, effective domain is that part of a man or a student through which he expresses the self, expression of self. It is often the motivation of the behavior of the student, motivation of behavior of the scholar or student. The effective domain directly related to psychological aspects which includes attitude, values, motivation, enthusiasm, belief system, etc. In simple way, it is the development of the attitude of the scholar or attitude of the student. Attitude in simple way is the way of behavior. That is, it is changing from negative attitude to positive attitude. So, education will helps or effective domain helps to change the negative attitude of the student to positive attitude at the end of the teaching learning process. As per 1966 taxonomy, there are five levels in effective domain. The first level is receiving, second level is responding, third level is valuing, fourth level is organization and fifth level is characterization. So, from receiving to characterization, the attitude of the student or learner will be changing from negative attitude to positive attitude. The mnemonic for effective domain is a continuation of cognitive domain. In cognitive domain, I have made mnemonic like a remember under apple tree, an intelligent man evaluated something and created a law of gravitation. That is Newton's law of gravitation. After the Newton introduction or creation of law of gravitation, it is accepted by the whole world. The mnemonic for effective domain is Newton's law of gravitation is received by the whole world, then responded to it, valued, later organized and characterized in their own country. So the law of gravitation is accepted by all world. They have responded to it and they have given special value for that uh, laws and they have organized the law according to their purpose and they have uh, internalized or characterized that law for their country in various situations. So, Newton's law of gravitation received, responded, valued, organized and uh, characterized by the whole world. Let us expand this mnemonic. Received means receiving, responded means responding, valued means valuing, organized means organization or organizing, characterized means characterization or characterizing. These are the five levels of effective domain. Let us explain in detail about the five levels of effective domain. The first level is receiving. Meaning of receiving is it is the lowest level of attitude development. It means being sensitive and aware of the existence of a given condition, phenomenon or situation and ready to react with it. That is being willing to react with it. For in a lecture method, a student is passively pay attention to the lecture starting to listen the lecture and giving passive attention to the lecture. Then action verbs includes asks, choose, selects, replies, etc. Example for receiving. In general example, a student saw a person helping poor. So student is observing that someone is helping that poor. So he is receiving the, the concept of helping the poor people. The specific example is in clinical setting, student be aware, observe, attend and willing to learn about MI patients conditions, myocardial infarction patients conditions, signs and symptoms etc. The second example, ask right questions by honoring the dignity of the patient during history collections. So he asks right questions to MI patients by honoring the dignity of the patients during his history collection. The second level is responding. After receiving, the student is going to respond to the situations. So, which is concerned with the active response by the learner. Although commitment is yet to demonstrate, there is no complete commitment, but there is an active participation from the part of the student. The range is from reacting to a suggestion through to experiencing a feelings of satisfaction in responding. The student feeling a satisfaction in responding to the session or to the event. The action verbs used in responding are 
answers, assists, complies, confirms, help, etc. The general example can be continued. The student saw that people appreciating the person who helped the poor. So, in the second level, the student saw that people appreciating the person who helped the poor. So, there is a starting of changing the attitude of the student in this second level that is in response. The specific example is participate and assist the MI patient in carrying out activities of daily living. So, here student is starting to participate in the care of the MI patient and he assist the MI patient in carrying out the activities of daily living. That is a responding level. Then third level of effective domain is valuing. The meaning of valuing is valuing indicates acceptance and internalization of values or attitudes. Here student internalizing the values or attitudes. So student accept the situation and he internalize the attitudes. He starts to begin the positive attitudes. So, learner acts out these in everyday life in a consistent way. So, he starts to demonstrate the positive attitude in doing activities or participating in activities. The action verbs includes initiates, invites, joins, justifies etc the general example can be continued that is the in the next level in the valuing level the student gives value that helping poor is an appreciable work so student internalizes student gives values for such activities that is helping poor is an appreciable or appreciable work in specific example here student initiates the building of interpersonal relationship with all the mi patients during his clinical postings in the ward so initiates the building of interpersonal relationship with all mi patients during clinical posting this is about the level 3 that is valuing then the fourth level is in effective domain it is organization or organizing in this level, which is concerned with the, the ability to organize the values and to arrange them in appropriate order. So, student find the time to do more activities in relation to his interested area. That is the ability to organize the values and to arrange them in appropriate order. The action words can be used here. Are alters, arrange, combines, modifies, etc. The general example is then the student organizes his learning that how can he help the poor. So, he will find out the various situations to help the poor. Then in specific example, student find more times and he combines various interaction skills to nurture the interpersonal relationship with the MI patients in the ward. The last level of effective domain is the level 5 that is characterization or characterizing. This is the highest level of attitude development. That is a positive attitude. Here, the student or learner has an internalized value system. Already, the value system is internalized, adapted, which has become the part of his philosophy or which has become his philosophy of life. The action verbs can be used here. Acts, displays, combines, discriminates, listens, etc. The general example can be continued. At this stage, habit comes the part of the character or part of the life. So, whenever a situation comes to help the poor, the student is having positive attitude to help the poor. He find out the situation to help the poor as a part of his philosophy of life. Then in specific example, whenever a patient admitted with the MI in his ward, the student is displays and act confidently and with positive attitude to care such a patients. This is the last stage of the effective domain that is characterization. In short, so let us compare this situation in a teaching learning process. So first phase is receiving or attending. So receiving or attending means here receiving the lecture. Student is sitting in the classroom and receiving the lecture and the information that is imparted by the teacher. Starting listening only is not so active. A student is not so active but he started to listen the class. The second stage is second level is responding. Responding means is responding or communicating. So, the student started to participate with the interaction with the peer groups and participating in group discussions and he is very obedient in the class. He is started to asking doubts in the class, clarifying his doubts. Then he submit the assignments with a little interest. That is the second phase that is responding. The third level is develop sense of valuing. So, the students start to develop a positive belief system. 
he started to develop a commitment and he contribute his ideas in the classroom. That is the third level that is valuing. In fourth level is that is organizing. The student try to find time and resources to develop himself or develop herself. Example, here he gives prioritizing in his interested areas. So find more time and resources to develop himself and develop more interest and positive attitude towards the learning environment and learning situation. Last level is characterizing or internalizing. Characterizing or internalizing. That is student give complete involvement. He may have sense of confidence through commitment and dedication. That is dedicated effort from the part of the students. Example is develop and modify himself with a positive attitude. Then he may have interest in a particular subject or particular topic in a particular class. So this is in short about the development of the affective domain that attitude changes from negative to positive attitude of the scholar or of the student. So thanks for watching. Hope this video really benefits in your studies. If you feel it is worth and benefit, please share, like and subscribe my channel and stay tuned with the Angel Health Academy for the next part of the video related to psychomotor domain. Thank you.